I'll do that, chums, to say, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, it's a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. Haven't got an awful lot to talk about, people inside the Viewerverse, but just look at the Nexus today, people. It's extremely busy. Heck, yes, it is. Yeah, it's pretty darn freaking awesome, huh? Yeah, I think it is anyways. So, yeah, uh, normally around the time on lead on up to an update, it is quite busy in the old Nexus. Now, it's not just over on YouTube with content creators. Check out any social media platform right now that's about No Man's Sky and you can feel the buzz. You know, it's nice. Okay, anyways, I picked up this decal last time. We're buying this decal today for 400 Quicksilver. Um, I don't know if you can see that because I'm in the way. Let me just move myself. There you go. Let's pick that up. I've now received decated it. Thank you very much. Lovely jubbly. I just need to turn off the old view counter because I'm not live. There we go. Cool, yep. Yeah. Okay, we've got that. This is the next one to unlock. The only thing is, look, it's got the skull there, but that is clearly the universal heartbeat decal. Right, well, we picked that one up anyway. So, before I press on on anywhere, I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, make a little save to register the fact that I've purchased a Kated, that lovely sort of decal. Jump in my ship, out of my ship. Lovely. In my little Sentinel ship, I guess. And I'm going to go down to one of my bases, and I'm going to put the decals on the wall so we can have a better look at them. I'll see you down at the base. Jones, I figured I'd put them on my freighter base, and this is pretty cool. You can even put them on the floor if you want, or on the walls of the buildings adjacent to your actual base building, which I think is pretty darn sweet. So yeah, I might, uh, I might put them there. Let's go into the old camera mode so I can shrink this down a little bit because I don't want it to clip at all. So there we go. I'm going to shrink that down to about that sort of size. You know what? I put this this decal here. Why the fudge not? Chicka boom. Okay. If I press L2, I should be able to get the next one. There we are. I put that there. They look pretty good. Okay. So I better look at them. Oh great! I'm in the wrong place. Let's go into camera mode and put the sun over. <coughs> oh, the sun is where I thought it would need to be to light that wall up like a freaking Christmas tree. Ah, oh, there we are. There we are. Look at those. They're not too bad, are they? They're not too shabby. Eh, pretty nice. Pretty nice indeedy doody. I guess. Well, I figured I'd showcase them here because my news desk is here. So I might as well jump into the old news and um, be with you right there at the news desk. I'll see you in a second. Well, howdy diddly down to those people. I'm at my news desk. And as you can see, I'm on the old Twitterverse. Now, I have got up the Assistant No Man's Sky's Twitter page right here. Of course I do. There's a reason for that. He's got some APIs that look at whenever there has been a Steam Depot update and it automatically puts something on his Twitter feed. So scrolling down here, you can see that something happened not so long ago. Look, another Depot update. Yes, that took place, I guess. And there's been another one just there. So there's been two depot updates in the time that the internal branch has been updated. Now, some people speculate that that might be because they're getting ready for the redux. So upload one was probably mission one. Upload two would be mission two, or whatever, you know, or redux, what, nine and ten. And then the next one would be redux eleven. And then hopefully we're going to get the update. However, I also think that it could be equally as plausible that Hello Games have got their teams split into different teams and those teams like the A team, the B team or whatever are working on different sections and they have to put their updates over to dev and then to test and it goes into the internal branch in their actual pre-production type environment. So I think it's just the different teams uploading their updates that come together in a culmination of updates to then give us the overall large update people well, that's what i think anyway but each either idea is equally as plausible so yeah i, I saw jason plays put up the first one that he thinks it might be redux one redux two which I, has got some plausibility to it anyway i'll put my tea on a warming plate below my desk people hmm that is a good cup of tea I guess. And I've got a little toy underneath my desk. I'll be showing you that on my credits when I'm doing my dance and I'll give some 
up closest to the uh, camera so you can see exactly what that is because you probably can't see it from here because it's teeny tiny but it balances on your finger that's a bit of a clue at what this thing is heck yes anyway until next time people that's all i've got for you the depots have updated i'll keep you abreast of all the news obviously and you can get yourself the decal that is now unlocked until next time people see you tomorrow goodbye goodbye and goodbye again